In a hot and dusty land, a long, long time ago, two sisters needed ice cream. Stat. Gee, sis, after a long day of herding cats, I could sure go for a Klondike bar. I'm driving! Shotgun! Oh, I lost my shoe. Pull my sarsaparilla. desert with no food, water, or gas? You got plenty of gas. Well, this desert ain't big enough for the both of us. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get some gas. Well, you yell Billy hit. All we've got to get gas are these dang sarsaparilla bottles. Well, then you go north, and I'll go south, and we'll meet back at sunset and go get some Klondike bars. I'm out. Bye. Lucy and Sally bravely set out across the desert in search of gasoline, hardly thinking about the possible dangers they would soon face. Hunger and dehydration were just around the corner. I thought you said you were gonna get that, but no, I gotta get the gas now. You... So hungry. So hot. Marching for hours. But luckily, I've stumbled all upon this oasis in the, middle, in the middle of the Gobi Desert. It's the only way to carry, catch, oh, catch one of those wild river tuna. A pitchfork. Now this. It's a wild river tuna, and it'll save me from starvation. See, it's nice and juicy. My insides are eating out my brain. I haven't eaten in days. But luckily, I found this patch of Peruvian salad grass. This will save me from certain death. But this is exactly why I never leave the hut without my salad dressing. Salad I've ever had, and now I must continue on. I'm in the Kobe Desert. No food, water, or iPod, and then out of salad dressing. I sure hope Lasso Lucy is okay. The desert is a dangerous place. <laughs> if I were to never make it out of here alive, I can only hope the last of Lucy can eat a Klondike bye for me. It's been an hour and a half since our last date. I don't think I can make it without a meal. Thankfully, this desert is known for its delicious desert marmots. That's why I never leave home without at least 20 feet of lasso rope. That's why they call me Lasso Lucy. Mmm, 
roast marmots, my favorite. My thirst is unbearable, and I haven't had vitamins, minerals, and hours. Luckily, I've stumbled upon a rare desert mud hole known for its rich nutrients and its cold, delicious sludge. After days in the desert, the sisters found their way back to their vehicle. With great joy, they saw each other from across the field.